Investigators are trying to figure out what sparked a Hamden fire. It sent two people to the hospital and killed a family pet. News 8's AJ Walker spoke to witnesses. A loud noise woke Joel Branch a little after 6 o'clock this morning. Well, I'm not sure it was, but I looked out the window and I saw it appear to be a fire, and I called 911. He watched as fire ripped through his neighbor's home just a few feet away. We were in fear. We, we moved everybody downstairs into the back of the house and prepared to, to leave the house. Hamden firefighters say they were on the scene quickly with three engines responding to the fire, all battling flames so hot they burst out windows. When the crews arrived, they found uh, fire uh, rolling out the uh, front window and front door to the house. Two people were home at the time of the blaze. Although they got out safely, they're being seen at Yale New Haven Hospital. The family dog died in the fire. There is a fire hydrant nearby. Getting water to the fire wasn't a problem, and firefighters tell me they got the fire contained quickly, but they say it still wasn't an easy fire to fight. Anytime you're fighting a fire in 20-degree weather with a hose and difficult access, it is challenging. We we're fortunate no firefighters were injured. Not only does the weather make it hard for first responders, cold temperatures could make the water used to save lives dangerous. Uh, it's just going to refreeze and be all ice and uh, it's, it's, you know, hazards for cars coming down the road, so slipping and sliding. Hampton Public Works says they'll stay on the scene even after the fire trucks leave, salting and making the roads safe again. In Hampton, A.J. Walker, News 8.